Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are on the LZ South, uh, LZ Alpha. Oh, spit my words out. And we have been here for 1500 cycles. It's been quite a lot. We have done a many, a many things. And right now we are waiting on the rocketry research. But whilst we are waiting for that, I feel like we can go and do a good deed. We have uh, Wise and Gorgonopsid living outside the main colony right now. They're in the old starter base, which really doesn't function as well as it used to. So I'm feeling like we can make ourselves another little hotel unit up the top here. Uh, get rid of the chlorine and the rust producing area maybe move them over here we've got this nice little space that we could use and uh, make them some nice little areas so yeah, yeah let's uh let's do that shall we so the wait for the dirt for the farm tiles is the thing that's holding us up here it's taken quite a while to get here as you can see we're at like 1510 right now it's a uh, three cycles or so i'm wondering if we rip this down over here whether we'll get the dirt back let's let's find out shall we oh typical nighttime just got called ah <laughs> he's right there he was gonna do it ah the cipher didn't make it home last night where is he Oh, he's on his way. He's on his way. He, he grabbed something. What's he got? What's he got? Fried mushroom. Okay. All right. Well, so yeah, go go get your food. Maybe maybe get some sleep. <laughs> so farm tile. Mimi's decided to take up the mantle this time. Are we going to get the dirt back? This is the big question. Uh, I only really see sat. Oh, there is dirt. 100 grams, kilograms of dirt. Beautiful. All right. We, we're going to do it. We're going to deconstruct all of these. Well, wow, let's leave three just in case because we still don't have this fully up and running yet, even though some chlorine is being dropped off. Oh, where did he come from? Oh no, we've got a new, we've got a new shove vault in here. How 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 did he get in here? Here? Oh no, it could be here. It very well could be here. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. All right, well, what we need to do is to grab another one of those, get some obsidian, and be like, yo 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 yo, just fill that in, guys. Okay, the rewiring of this is going to be a little bit awkward, but I think I'm going to take one of these wires, uh, one of these bridges here. I'm going to make it out of iron, of course. I'm going to jump over there, and we're going to use this system that we used for the, uh, the, 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 the filter and the pumps and stuff, and use that down with this system. Yes, as this one will be going offline, we will be able to use the power for that over here. Yeah, wonderful. So this combat notification has come up often enough now that I'm actually just going to ask Miss to move over here and I'm going to just keep her hanging around until he jumps out. This might this might be a problem. This this might take some effort. Okay, here's Miss. I think she'd do better up this way though. This is all unreachable. That's a shame. Can she not come up and over and then okay, there's a problem here for getting down to that. Okay, so we'll uh We'll ask her to climb up here for now and ask someone else to make a ladder down there. All right, beautiful. Oh, combat is on. She did it. Uh, she was coming across to... Oh, no, look, he ran away. That, that's a shame. We're trying to build our way down there. Uh, Miss also coming along to replace those obsidian tiles or four obsidian tiles. Uh, and downtime, though. Oh, no. No, this is this is not possible. Um, hmm. Look, he's right He's right there. He's right there. Are you going to ignore him even though he's right there? Ah, yes, you are. Oh, Mrs. is away. Is she able to reach it? Through the wall, maybe? Oh, uh, so I'm digging some bits. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's actually dead. Oh, I thought he'd, I thought he'd uh, dug away again. Oh, this, that's that's brilliant. That's brilliant. I was trying to dig that way to, uh, to expose him, and it works. Also, the obsidian tile has been covered up. I think I think we're now done with this area again. Down below, the chlorine use facility has been taken care of. We're uh, pumping out if we find any oxygen there. Uh, we are picking little bits up of chlorine with chlorine with that, but I think we're oh okay. Let's just watch as it flows around. We're trying to get it all down and under here. I'm hoping that the amount of chlorine that gets picked up will eventually just kind of. Uh, fill this area. Uh, sorry, with the amount of oxygen being picked up, that this the chlorine will fill this area and uh, just just be eaten by these salt vines. Though I have a feeling we're going to end up with almost a near vacuum in here. But anyway, with that underway, it's time for us to just rip all of this down. Let's let's not be greedy. Just that. I've just had a thought. I've moved all the automation down by one. And I've moved an auto sweeper in there because I think that's going to be able to help automate things like moving the rust and the salt into the oxidizer, moving the bleach stuff around if it ever gets dropped off by someone who like gets interrupted uh yeah i think it's going to be pretty good 
Now all we need to do is move this. Let's have a look. 19 tons of salt. Wow. Might take them a while. Okay, there's that in place. That should make things a billion times easier for us. I'm going to start just copying stuff up and across. Uh, if I can place them in the correct place, we should have ourselves an entirely new little barracks for people. Mainly so they can have themselves a uh, an exosuit dock. Because really, all this scolding that's going on, it's getting a little much. Just a little bit. Oh dear. All our slicks have died in our carbon box. If we come down to the bottom... Uh, I'm going to lower the temperature of this. Let's go for 200. We could probably even take it down to like 190 uh, and try desperately, desperately. Uh, we could probably gonna have to turn one of these down as well to bring it, uh, to, to give it a supply of water. Um, to, uh, to, to get one of these molten slicks down here to drop a normal lava egg rather than the molten lava egg. We do that a couple of times. We can get back up to the stocks of where we were and get our plastic turning back over because we are running out of plastic. That's what, that's what made me realize that we had uh, lost these guys over here. I was copying the beds out. I was like, hey, let's make another one of these. And they're like, not enough materials. I'm like, hey. I also think we're going to reroute the oxygen. This this over here, it, it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm going to turn these pipes into six individual... No, wrong one. Uh, I'm going to turn these into six individual downpipes on this side here. Uh, we'll have to move these uh, filters back over this way. But I've got a feeling we're going to be... Wait. Why is there not oxygen everywhere? Water issues. Hmm. This has gone dormant for how long? 40. But what about this guy? No, no. This guy down here. You're dormant for 13. Hmm. But you should be pumping because he's too low of water. Okay. Okay. That's... That's quite the inconvenience. I didn't realize we were going through water quite as quick as that. 14 cycles. What are we, what are we gonna do, guys? Water. Where do we get water from? How's this place doing? I mean, it's looking good. This is pipes block. Let's press an F6 here and see. Hey, where can we do? What can we do with this? We could probably steal some of this. Will it be able to keep up? I don't know. Uh, actually, I don't know. Here is where we can hack onto it. All right, let's do this. Why isn't Mimi wearing? An atmosphere suit. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure what's going on here, guys. I didn't turn anything off, did I? Was there another way to escape? Well, anyway, she's put the liquid bridge in place, which is gonna help us with our oxygen issues once it's worked its way all the way back up to the top of the map. But what's going on over here? How did she get out? How? how hmm. I see. I think I see what's happened here. See, uh, they're, they're, the atmosphere check suit has been built before any of the atmosphere docks, so uh, she walked past and took it off. Oh no, there's a low deal. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we'll have to wait till morning to find out whose they are. That's yeah. That's going to be a little bit inconvenient. Wise, just back back to hospital with you. You spent most of your time there. Ah, uh, here's the last one. It is Miss. Okay, cool. We'll uh, deliver the suit there as well. You see, these three suits are the ones that got dropped off. We'll uh, disable this at quite a high priority because we don't want that happening anymore. And hopefully these three will be delivered. Of course, we've, we've got a bit of an oxygen problem as we were talking about. Uh, let's see if we can see the water. Has it worked its way up here? It's, it's on its way. Uh, on its way. The desalinator good could be faster. We seem to be pumping it up faster, but uh, yeah, we're just we're passing on what we can. Half blobs are going out, despite the fact that these ones are entire blobs. Sorry, half blobs are coming in, despite the fact that we've got entire blobs going out. We'll just have to see how that works on balance. My money's on not very well. I have no idea how, but somehow, despite this being set... Well, this was set at 20, but it wasn't cooling down any lower than that. We we seem to have got our de temperature right down to, like, 13. It was 11 degrees here for a little while. And as you can see, we're, we're, we're suffering up at the top here with these arbitraries not ha um, not having the, the right temperature. I I don't understand, though. I Like, we, we shouldn't have been able to go down to such lower temperature. Oh, no, the oxygen is flowing again, but... The the pipes aren't in place. I wanted to bring all these down. We've got a bit of a mess here to deal with, but I'm sure if we like went straight forwards here and then jumped over there instead and things like this, we could tidy that up pretty quickly. Maybe bring this down to just be a single line here. Uh, we could definitely move a whole bunch of stuff. Th this oxygen line here is going to be the, the most awkward one, but we'll figure it out. So obviously, like any sane man would, I've come along and put all of these on the highest priority, but then immediately I had a thought, uh, what happens if I just connect these three up? Yeah, actually, we, we, we should be all 
right with that. Uh, we're still allowing all the gases to flow. The overflow pipe is running for the ones that have been stopped, so that, that's pretty cool. Uh, hopefully this should now just be fully operational. Let's see how the rest of the water is going. Sorry about the, the alarm. Probably, ooh, that's a little awkward. Uh, probably should try and do something about that at some point. I wonder how that little, little th th there's another one. Here, here, wait, 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 wait. Where's, where's this all come from? Oh, it's this ethanol here. Oh no, how did it get down there so quickly? Good job I have a purpose-built tank for ethanol relatively close by. It's gonna be a bit of a pain to get to it, but if we could just do that, all right, beautiful. Um, oh man, suddenly, suddenly we've got two very important problems on our on our hands. Oh, all right, let's just go with high importance rather than full panicking. <laughs> So we're going to do this properly down here. We're going to search out molten salt. No, we don't want... Uh, we want salt water going through here. Uh, we're then going to have this one searching for ethanol. Uh, then I'm not sure what we're going to do with the rest of the liquid because, of course, we're going to have some other things in here, in particular, like water, polluted water, stuff like that. Um, but they're, they're not really represented at the moment. Well, the water is... Mm. I mean, here's a polluted water line, but that's not what I'm after. Always at least one thing I install back to front. Front. Ugh. Okay, there's a little uh, little filtering system. Trying to pull some of these threads together. As you can see, all of the oxygen is starting to flow nicely, which means we can come along and put down, I don't know, some low, uh, low priority destructions here. I don't want to put it up too high. I just want them to be working on this in the background whilst we do uh, up or do the other things. Uh, building the building the base upper layer here and of course when all the research gets done we will be coming back down to the rockets Oh, we're getting close. Nine, nine more research to do. But let's uh, let's come let's come up here. You can see that on the way up here, I've had to move the valves from here to here. But we had a little bit of problem where stuff was slipping past there. I don't know whether oxygen actually reads as uh, as whether polluted oxygen reads as oxygen on this gas element sensor. But I'll tell you what, I may have just missed it. It may have may have taken just me me a little too long to throw that filter up because we had a little bit of trouble over here. You might remember that the ethanol was dri dripping down into the salt water. This means that we were getting ethanol up into here and this was that making these break we're getting ethanol gas everywhere we i had to break in there as you can see we've got ethanol liquid everywhere but we've now managed to get this all nice and clean and segregated gases again the water seems to be having a little bit of troubles but this is because i think i've got this uh this valve here i think the way to fix this is to go a little bit of a liquid bridge let's get ourselves uh, some control some flow control going here one of those and one of these should hopefully do it i am going to turn this up to a super high priority because it's quite important that our oxygen keeps flowing but if we follow this line back looking for any extra ethanol or anything like that uh thankfully it's all going to get filtered out i've got one of those not not water filters going on up the top uh but you can see that, that this is now up and running look the water it flows all right yeah cool i'm all about it let's have a look we uh, we're gonna be going for 72 cycles now so we don't really have to worry about that too much but as we don't need it anymore i'd really like to uh, deconstruct this particular bridge as well beautiful beautiful so i suppose the next thing we need to do is come on up here and uh, start building out the rest of these uh, comfy beds and oh should really put down a new bathroom I think one of Mad Frank, Luna, or Dr. Captain Subs has stolen Legit's uh, exosuit. It, it just doesn't seem to be going. Who we got up here? That's Mimi. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and check them down. Look for someone who's in an exosuit that they haven't been able to change out of because this one has been t uh, taking up its spot. No, Luna's good. Mad Frank looks fine. And Dr. Captain Subs also has. Mmm. Hmm. Very confusing. It's not like they can get through here, is it? Ah, Dr. Captain Subs. We meet again. So who who else is wrong here then? Jelly. Okay, I need to turn Dr. Captain Subs off of here somehow. So where's Jelly and what is he doing? <laughs> I mean he's still got gases, but whatever. Okay, fine. <laughs> Well, now this sure is an interesting state of affairs to find myself in. We are totally pulling all of the heat out of this um, this lava here. Uh, it's not one for today, but I've got an idea of having like a in little insulated box with a with a miner in it, and then we let some lava in and come to touch this, and then when it freezes, we dig it up and let more lava in. I think that will work, but we'll we'll work that one out next time. Oh, oh, guys, oh god, ah, uh, uh, even even on a super low priority, let's bring it, let's bust it down even lower. Even on a super low priority these guys keep wanting to come dig in the lava 
I mean, cool, but you are getting hurt. Ah, it's not... Not amazing. Not terrible. I mean, there's definitely other things for them to... I'm just going to cancel it all. I'm just going to cancel it. Stop. <laughs> Let me make a little sleeve for it just to, just to be sure. But, wow. Well, their continued presence over down below means that they've really got nothing much more they can be doing to this base at the moment. We're still waiting for the plastic, but I think it's time that we can start restricting entrance in and out for people. We're going to turn everybody off apart from Wise. Uh, and the reason why only Wise at the moment is because, well, one bed. Uh, and he's also the one doing all the work. Look, here he comes. He's coming along. He's going to pick up a load of stuff over here, and then he's going to uh, carry it all away. I suppose we could let Luna in. Uh, that probably wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'm going to uh, ask for a delivered suit here. In fact, I know we're going to end up with three delivered suits there, so I'm going to set that up like so. All right, beautiful. Miss really is in trouble from all her lava digging. Um, in fact, all three of them. Uh, that's a bit of a shame because I've only got two beds. So we've managed to lock up Forrest in some sort of weird animation loop. Oh, so Brum came along to save him where he puts a little bit of dirt in, uh, does his tiny bit of research and then turns around to do the same all over again. I'm not overly keen on these guys coming along to steal it from the research. What's going on here? Where are you guys taking it? Over here. Okay. I mean, uh, cool. I'd rather you use clay though. Just at the top of the map, working on an overflow for the, uh, the waste oxygen that we have down below. Uh, and uh, the, the research came Pinging. So that's pretty cool. I'm just, I'm just going to finish up what we're doing here. I want to get like a little gas vent going on. And then if I come down to the bottom, I like to work by pressing F7, selecting the thing I've got, and then uh, running it up like this. So that, that works pretty well. I mean, I messy but it'll do it will do but yeah the research came in let's let's go and have a look we got command cup capsule gantry research module steam engine oh man these are things what do they do well they go together to build a rocket look we got a little little tab on the end here now but we uh we need an awful lot of steel wow an awful lot of steel We've got a uh, hundred kilos. Should probably try and double down on that. Looks like one's just happened, though. The uh, the the coolant is off on its little cooling run. So uh, yeah, but hopefully, hopefully that's just going to keep going. Oh no 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 steel being being done. In fact, let's just go forever. Okay, I'm glad I glad I took the moment to look at that actually. So, the steam engine, probably the most important part of it, having a look. It has a gas intake valve where we need to feed a whole bunch of steam into. I think we can handle that. We've got a fair supply of, of hot water going. If we just uh, pick this, uh, this stuff up here, take it over to this area. I, I, I feel like we could put it here. I feel like we could put the rocket here. We'll have a little, like, manual bunker doors. Yeah, 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 brilliant. Really need that steel up and running, though. <laughs> Okay, the steel is turning over. It's still only 315, but it's enough for us to start looking at all these different things here. Like, we can build a command capsule. Oh, yeah, what does it need? What does it need? Not, not really anything, actually. An auto input, an auto output. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fix one research task per space mission. This is the research module now. Produces a small data bank regardless of mission destination. Okay, generate research points become available upon return. So I feel like we could just set up a little, like, one one column high thing command cop the command capsule steam engine oh, it'd be a shame to not at least put two in right if you were wondering why i was building an overflow for the waste oxygen i mean just you just need to have a look at this i'm not sure where all this is oh this is coming from up here okay that's fine that's fine uh this was kind of like a uh, a safety device to make sure the chlorine stayed where it was supposed to stay but of course this means we're picking up a lot of oxygen as well but as i was saying it's all started gumming up the work so i need to make this line here which does feed into the base actually come on up and start pouring itself out into space and i think Maybe. Oh, we'll have to uh, do something about this little filter here. I think maybe we're on our way to actually getting it done. Uh, one thing I haven't done yet. Let's uh, let's assign Wise the bed. <laughs> That's what the, the whole point of it. Why, why haven't we done that yet? I don't think I'm going to give them the auto light system, uh, mainly because I don't have the power going through the top there. It's just, just a lack of wiring more than anything. Once again, the wires are set up... Uh, like the wrong way this this these guys down here should be powering these lights and, and knocking it on all the way up but like how do you do that without causing a mess of wires behind the uh, food area here oh is this too big to be a great hall still uh, th this door lack of door will definitely be a problem why is it an invalid building location i put i know what's going wrong i put drywall behind it Hmm, still doesn't like it. Okay, let's cancel it. Let's grab this one over here. Can't, uh, copy out a new one. Yeah, it's, it's just a bug. Oh, we had some plastic rolling. Where did you come from? Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> Not here. Hmm. <laughs> oh, look. 
so much that we can actually assign another one. Gorgonopsid, welcome to the fold. So we're 20 tiles too large to be a great hall. I've got a plan. There are five floors, right? Ooh, these are five wide. That makes it even more convenient. Okay, we're going to get a whole bunch of reed fiber and do these. Now, obviously, this has done nothing, absolutely nothing to the amount of tiles here. But if I get the metal tiles, which are also 15, I think we're just going to pop a whole bunch of the lead ones under here. And uh, four sets of these will bring us down 20 tiles. Oh, I've just used all the steel supplies, just putting this uh, this wall across the top here. I'm not sure how much room we're going to need. Obviously, the, the, the launching of a rocket is a relatively hot thing. Not that I think we're going to get around to that today. I think at most, at most, we're going to be able to place a few bits. Uh, but we're going to need a bunch of insulation, right? That's 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 almost a definite. So I'm, I'm thinking about how to do that. And of course, we're then going to have to try and cool this area down afterwards. Or we just leave it all in vacuum. Mm. Are we getting more ethno buildup? I'm not. I'm not sure. I am not sure. There does appear to be a bit of a backlog running though. How do we? How do we do this? Hmm. Got to deal with it somehow, and I'm not sure. I mean, burning it is the preferred option, but we just we seem to be getting more and more all the time. Oh, I've got an idea, but with the setup we've got, it's going to be messy, okay? And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new input bridge. It's going to go up and over this way, uh, and it's going to end up just connecting to this, uh, and this one will be running as normal. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Let's uh, let's just usurp this over. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I then want to just kind of, like, cut these boys off of the network. Maybe, maybe not there, maybe not there. Let's try that again. Something like that, because I want to come into the automation, and I want to have a buffer gate. Uh, stand corrected, a filter gate. Uh, I want to only turn these ones on if the power has been missing for a while. And hopefully this will mean that we burn through the ethanol much, much faster than all the others. Yeah, we need it. We need it now. Okay, the automation is in place. The signal goes. This starts burning through. The power is going much far. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We need to turn this down. How long do we reckon has gone so far? About a quarter. So let's say... 15 seconds let's try that and see what no not, not 150 that would be very bad uh and let's see how this responds so that should now just go round we're nearly out of power but then these guys kick in bam fill everything back up uh, and this hopefully is taking more ethanol than anything else I'm, com I'm, I'm tempted to convert one of these petroleum ones over to ethanol gotta clear these pipes man gotta clear the pipes yeah, it looks like we're going to have to do it. Okay, um, hmm, how to, how to, how to. Uh, I think we're even going to have to rip this up because I believe once it's got some petroleum in there, it won't want to swap over. But let's give it a go, shall we? I'm not one to shy away from experimentation, and I'd like to know. I'd like to find out. We're going to get close. We're going to put some, some pipes down so that we can connect it very last second if we need to. Of course, now we're just not, not consuming any power. Great. <laughs> Turns out when these three steam turbines are up and running, these guys just aren't needed. That's also a little bit awkward. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, look. He says he's out of resource, even though he's got a little bit in there. Okay, we're going to actually have to destroy him. That's a little bit of a shame, but at least we emptied out the pipes properly. Uh, I think I'm even going to go as far as... No, no, we'll, le we'll leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. I want to connect that one over there. Uh, it's going to try and use it and be like, oh, no, but I can't. I mean, I... I, I, I Maybe it'll just get going. It does seem to be using the F knob in a very weird way. I mean, I, I don't know if I like it. I don't know if I, I like what's going on here. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, that's very awkward. It's flashing. The, 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 where the ethanol, where this ethanol is coming from is these two. Watch the temperature. 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and it's gone. Um, it's not burning it. It's not burning it, so it's not turning it over fast enough, so we're not... Oh, I mean, we, we've, em we've emptied the tanks, though, so I suppose that's cool. It's, it's not quite what we want, though, is it? Why isn't this one turning over? What's, what's going on here? Oh, because it's being destroyed, lol. So I've been watching from this materials point of view for a while, and I've not seen any more ethanol gas drop out of here, so I'm going to assume... We're doing okay. I'm, I'm, it, could, it could be a problem, but I think at the moment we're all right. 
So what's going on up here? Are we, uh, well, we've got the oxygen overflow up and running. I think this means that we can actually put ourselves in a little walkway over to here, uh, where we're going to start thinking about these rocket parts. I think we're going to need the steam engine at the bottom, and we're still not quite there with the steel. Uh, Thankfully, we've got an overnight to work through. I think if we go and have a look that actually this has been working flat out the whole time we've been talking. Uh, and indeed, how much iron do we have left? 12 tons. Okay, it's cool. It's cool. We're, we're doing very well. We have found a bottleneck in the in the steel production. We're out of lime and it look, turns out we're out of things to make that lime out of. So let's come down and have a look in the hot area. Are there any fossil pockets? That well, That's what I'm looking for. I mean, there's a little bit over here. It's not a mate. Oh, look, look at all this up here. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go to get it. That's what I love about having a dedica dedicated digger. It's like instant response as soon as you put down some orders. Oh, I totally misread what it was saying. The maximum room size is 128 tiles, but the a maximum great hall size is 120. How do we get rid of eight? Seven. Oh, and then one hanging down in the middle. Okay, so this, this is seven across here. We're going to have to take this out and then put something here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Something that was very high pressure appears to have just broken. Okay, uh, that's a thing, I suppose. Uh, let's let's just try dumping a whole bunch of ladders across here because obviously we, we still kind of need to get get those fossils uh <laughs> okay there's 9.8 tons just kind of laying around somewhere and all of them all of them want to go into being made into uh into lime i this this is a box that really only uh stores stuff for for the the lime making i'm going to do this for the rest of the day Okay, here comes the first wave of fossil delivery. This should be actually pretty impressive. I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to shift in one go. I don't know whether it'll be the full nine tons or what. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool to watch them all run in, though. That's that's cool. And what, what are we doing inside here? We're at 9.4 tons. All right, yeah, we've we've done the whole lot now. Wow, that, that was a little underwhelming, to be honest. <laughs> Is there a more efficient way to turn fossil into lime? What does, what does this do? Does this use a... Use 100 grams of fossil for 5 grams of lime. Wow. Is a fossil boiler a thing? Is, is that even a thing? All right, how, how are we doing with the steel? This is something that I need to know. Halfway. Halfway. I dealt with it in the obvious manner of pumping out all the oil into our oil boiler over here, but it did eat into 200 of my steel. We have to remember to uh, break that down again. Also, it's probably a good idea to start thinking about busting out some of these other high-pressure pockets. We could probably just, like, dig our way through and into here and release that. Grab a few more fossils while we're at it as well. And some more diamond. Hmm. Okay, then. We got ourselves 2,100 steel. That's not quite enough, but it is enough for me to start thinking about where things go. So I'm going to grab a steam engine. We're going to see how it lines up with this. I've got to pick one side or the other. I'm going to go for the far side. because That then gives us room to uh, move our duplicates around on the near side. We'll put it level with this bit here. I'm not, uh, do we want to put it level there, or do we want to have the command capsule level there? We'll, we'll put that one level there for the moment. I want to then be able to produce a couple more of these research modules. I, I think I want at least two before I uh, put the rest down. And there we go. Just almost instantly, there was the tick over for another one of these. All right, cool. I can't put that down like that. Ah, oh, that, that is a shame. Is it, is it premature to dig it all out yet? I don't know. Always a little awkward working at this edge of the screen. I can now uh, go a little more to the right, but no more to the left. This is this is it. This is as far as we go. Oh, I just had a little tink come in. We can maybe build another one of these. Uh, got to wait, though. Got to wait. Unreachable. Di how? How? <laughs> let's, let's try this instead. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> am I going to be ripping out Mafic Rock ladders afterwards? I, I got a feeling I am be, yes. I am be. I will be is what I actually meant to say. <laughs> All right, Miss is making the first layer of the rocket. I don't know whether I need to destroy these uh, ladders or not, but I'm probably going to do so anyway. Uh, how big a gap is this? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Let's let's try going across there, uh, enabling us to clear all this area out as well. Question mark. Hopefully, maybe. I'm fairly sure a set of ladders up this side wouldn't go amiss either. Boom! First steam engine, which I presume this input is for steam. And we know how to make steam, so that's not going to be a problem at all. Okay, with these ladders in place, let's give it a check. Let's go to the research module. Can we put that down? It's like, no, you've got too many things in the way. You need to be able to have a perfectly clear area for it. Okay, how about now? Have I misinterpreted? We find out today? No, I didn't. 
Oh, it's going to be a bit touch and go whether we've got the steel. We're out of uh, fossil, completely out of fossil. Uh, and we've got 1,300, let's call that 800 steel left. Though it has just popped back up again, which I find very confusing. I wonder what that's about. Go assume it's someone picking up stuff and carrying it over. But we've got some more stuff here to do. Of course, when they were destroying the ladders, they, they did it with the closest ones first. I mean, I don't know why they always do that. But anyway... <laughs> Oh, you know what? You know, I I think, I think I was just about to put the command capsule up there, but I think we can stick another one of those on before we then try and get the command capsule up there. Yeah, look at that. Perfect, I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah, the real test. The Peru is fruitful. We can totally go and pop that up there. Mad Frank got himself mildly stuck. That's all right. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully someone's going to come along and do this immediately. Mimi is straight on it. Beautiful. And I think with that, I am going to have to say... On a cliffhanger, no less. Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. Well, we're going to take the water that's flowing up this way here. Try and make a little steam box underneath to feed the, uh, feed the, the rocket. I, of course, need to make some sort of automation for the door, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.